हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दी डीएलसी लैब पार्ट ए फॉर डिजिटल प्रोग्राम्स सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द टूल एंड हाउ प्रोग्रामिंग हैज बीन डन ओके वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग टिल एंड इट मींस द सिमुलेशन एंड आल्सो द सिंथेसिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट थिंग इज ऑन द डेस्कटॉप वी आर यूजिंग अ रेड हैट हियर लिनक्स वर्जन रेड हैट सो ऑन द डेस्कटॉप राइट क्लिक and select open in terminal so this is the terminal window here we will type the first command as csh this command is to initialize the system enter okay so it will show that we are into desktop this represents where we are as of now now the next command is we are going to type to to initialize the tool the cadence tool which is source space slash home slash install slash cshrc now this is linux here the uh, case of the letter is important so you should be very very careful it's upper case or lower case also space and all there one character that has to be there like in the beginning it is source space so this is very important you, you don't forget this so source space slash home slash install slash cshrc enter now here welcome to cadence tool suits so we are into the cadence tools first we are going to create the folder so for that the command is mkdir okay after this space now whatever i write that folder will be created on the desktop okay uh, let me say uh, demo for digital so let me write one demo okay so mkdir space demo it means a folder by name demo will be created on the desktop enter okay so the folder is created now we have to enter into the folder for that command is cd space so after cd space i will write the name of the folder in which i want to enter so cd space demo enter so now you can see here we are into demo okay now here we are going to create our verilog file for that command is gedit okay gedit or now suppose i am going to do the basic gates so basic dot v dot v is for verilog okay now gedit command is it does two things first thing is it will see right now we are in demo folder if this file is already present g edit will open that file if this file is not present g edit will create that file okay so enter so it means you can see that basic.v file is created here we will write the verilog code so the purpose of this lecture is not to teach the verilog coding here we are dealing with the tools handling so i will directly copy uh, the uh, program which already have it okay And then we can move ahead from that point so i have copied the code here now this is the code for basic gates all and gate or gate nand nor buffer all the eight codes like you say you can see here this is c equals to not of a so not gate this is and gate or gate nand gate nor gate xor x nor buffer okay and this is the test bed okay so after writing code we will save it okay after saving we can close this particular window means the basic dot v window but always careful should never close this window if you close this window that also will be gone okay so what we have been done, uh, done till now we have created the folder created the file and written the code you have to write the code but i have pasted the code now what we are going to do here is we are going to invoke our tool for simulation for that the command is and c launch okay and you have to be in the same folder demo and see launch if you are doing the first time okay then you have to first time in this folder then you have to do and see launch space minus new okay when you are doing second time that time is not required you can simply give that time you have to give and see launch space and this ampersand but since we are doing the first time so for that and see launch space minus new enter now it will ask 
when they do only NC launch space M percent, that time it will not ask all those things. But we are doing the first time. We are in, we are setting it. So we are going for multiple step. So we are here, multiple step. Okay. Then see this. Create CDS dot leaf file. Okay. Then save. Then don't include any libraries. Check it. Select it. Okay. and then okay so this is your nc launch window will open okay now we are already you can see here root desktop demo in this demo folder already basic we is there so select this file okay now you can see here this first one is for dhdl second is for verilog so i am keeping a mouse here what showing launch verilog compiler with current selection so i'll click it here If there is no mistake, all blue will be here. Then no problem. If mistake is there, it will show the mistake, and then we can go and correct the mistake. And again, you have to repeat the process. Okay. So, so now uh, there is no mistake. Okay. Uh, for simplicity, let me close this and tell you uh, I'll open that file again and make some mistake so that you can understand what to do. Uh, suppose I remove this save column. Save. close okay and then give nc launch m percent since i am doing second time so this time uh, space minus new is not required only nc launch space m percent okay now if i take this basic dot v and compile it it will show error here okay sometimes this says the exact error sometime not Okay, now right now, uh, right now we know that what is the error, so we are going to remove this er error. Okay, so we'll open our file. Okay, we know what was the error. A semicolon should be here. Save and close. Again, give NC launch. M percent. Okay, repeat the process. Selecting our file, and then launch Verilog compiler. No error. Now, if no error, it means here this right window work leave this plus sign. We are going to expand it. After that, this the test bench we are going to select. Okay, test bench means see if I see the open the program. if i open the program this is the module main module name this is the test bench module name so this i am going to select okay so basic underscore tb both both it is showing basic as well as basic underscore tb we are selecting here basic underscore tb which is the test bench after selecting this one third what it says launch elaborator with current selection this we are going to click okay again no problem now this time this snapshot we have to expand and select since in this folder only one file is there so it's not showing much but if you do multiple times you will get many files here so you have to select your test batch with work leave so here basic underscore tb and this is work leave so work leave followed by the test bench this you have to select and fourth option which is launch simulator with current selection this you have to click okay wait for some time now in this window left side our test bench is shown here here you can see our test bench is shown so select that right side all the entities will be shown here okay you can select all one by one like control a, a if i put all will be selected or you can select one by one a then press the control on your keyboard b like that okay so here i am going to select all 
control A, so all are selected. Then this small window, green color, send selected objects to target waveform. This we are going to click. Okay. So after some time, our main simulation window will be open. Now here, see carefully. This is small arrow you can see downside. This is for run. Big arrow. This is small. Here we are giving, going to give time. Now this time is what? This time is the window open time. It means how much time you want to open from here to here. Okay. So let me see. I want to give 200. Now 200 what? Nanosecond. It shows here. So in the drop down here, you can see second, millisecond, microsecond, nanosecond, and all. So I want to keep it nanosecond. So 200 nanosecond. This time tells us how much window you want from here to here. Okay. And then this button, run button, you have to click run. So you can see your waveform. Okay. Now, depending upon the test bench timing, what you have given, this will be shown. I hope this you know this as I told on the beginning. Uh, right now, the motive is not to teach you the Verilog coding. The motive is to teach you how to handle the tool. Okay, because uh, uh, by this time you are in seventh semester. By this time you already know the very log, how it works, very log coding, test bench, and everything. You must be knowing. Okay, so this is the simulation is over. Now after simulation is over, we are going to do the synthesis part. So for that, what we have to do is we have to close everything. So for this we have to note down, or you can take a screenshot up to you. So next we will do the synthesis. So for synthesis. We are going to close everything. So this is the simulation window should be closed. This is the design browser window. This also should be closed. What I'm trying to say here is other than the terminal window, close everything. So here we'll close this also. And this also. Okay, this you can close and open again. That's not a big problem. Okay. So for the simplicity, I'm closing this also because again we can open it. Not that's not a big deal. So I'll close this also. So for uh, for synthesis, I have closed everything. Now what what is open our folder which is demo. From here, this open the file in which our coding is there. From here, see in this what we have all the entities, the relationship, so module, this is for test bench, timing, mapping, everything. But for synthesis, we do not require the test bench. We are synthesizing only the main circuit. So we are going to delete this, this test bench part, and then save as. If I save, it will be save the real folder. So I am going to do save as. So file, save as, okay, uh, here I think basic spelling I wrote wrong, that's, that's, not, uh, that's not a big problem, I will correct it. Uh, let's not change the, uh, the real one, because if you change, with that name only simulation has been done. So any name I can give, so I am giving here uh, basic basic 1 dot v, okay, save. Now close it. Now we can see this. We have two files here. Our first is basic file, basic which is spelling is wrong. B A S double I C I have written. That's not a big problem. So here, this is our file, and this basic one dot v we are going to use for the synthesis. Okay. So now what we'll do is uh, from the tool provider. From the tool provider, they have given us dot tcl file, which they have gave in a folder counter. So I'll open the folder counter here, and this you can see dot tcl file. This I will copy, and I will paste this in our folder. Here, now here this is. The gave is keep, uh, keeping the program counter. This we have to keep for our program. 
So I will open this .tcl file. Here I am going to re remove this counter and write our program. So here this you can see this icon. Okay, This icon represents search for and replace text. So I will click this. I will search for counter because here this you can see counter.v and this will be replaced with basic 1. So wherever counter is there it will be find. So first find. So see all the counter has been found and this we are going to replace all with basic 1. Okay, Close. Save and close it. Okay, Now what we are going to do is again we are going to open the terminal and few are the basic commands like csh the next source okay then cd space demo to enter into the folder now here for synthesis we are going to command put command genus g e n u s space minus f space and this one in this folder what file name tcl file name we are going to write okay so that is r c underscore script dot tcl then enter now we have to wait for some time it is loading it will take some time to load completely okay so we have it so in this window here you can see this plus we will take this plus and go for schematic so you can see our synthesis you have to analyze this like i will take for one see what is c c is not of this which is a Okay, so C is not of A. What is E? You can see E is coming from here, which is coming from NOR. So what are you saying here? This is A B. So A B NOR. Okay, then again not. So it means OR. So E is OR of A and B. Like that, you have to analyze for each and every here C E G H I and all. We have to analyze. This is the synthesis. So after this take this power report detail report i can write the values of cell how many cells are there what is the leakage internal all it will be given by the system okay you have to note it down then close it again file report summary if you take this it will give you all the summaries here and all the gates is used Okay, how many times it has been used and all it will show here. Okay, this you have to note down. With this, this experiment is over. Now, similarly, uh, we have to do little different uh, for the circuits which has clocks. So, that we will see in the next lecture. So, with this, in this lecture what we saw, how to handle the tool for digital part, simulation and synthesis. Okay, so I hope you understood this. So with this I am ending this lecture.